everyone and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day and today we're going to feature, we always feature five listings, but today we've got three different counties. We're fe featuring residential and commercial, but even that is still just a small percentage of what you guys do as a company. Absolutely. We have offices that cover about 16 counties. We have mm -hmm. offices up and down US 23 in Louisa, Paintsville, Prestonsburg, and Pikeville. Like you said, residential, commercial, appraisals, education, if you're in real estate. So if somebody has anything in the real estate world that they need assistance with, please get please give us a call. And that's on the buying or the selling end mm -hmm. or the business end. I mean, you guys pretty much cover it all. Absolutely. Okay. Now let's start with our first listing today. And the first one is in Paintsville in Johnson County. Yes, this is Teresa Preston's listing. And this is located on Richmond Road, um, which is very close to Johnson Central Elementary. It actually faces Johnson Central Elementary. You mm -hmm. can literally send your kid out to walk across the street to school. And then something else to consider if you have small ones is it also comes with an in-ground pool in the backyard. Mm -hmm. um, it's a 20 by 40 in-ground heated pool. So you've got school across the street, you've got fun in the backyard. You're close to the golf course, you're close to downtown uh, Paintsville. So you've got everything right there. And then you've got a house that is only about 14 years old. It was built in 2004. Mm -hmm. So a fairly new house four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and from the ride up, I'm assuming it says four to five bedrooms. So I'm thinking that we've got a bonus room. Right. They could make a great playroom, rec room, or that extra bedroom if needed. And it is not small. I mean, you're looking at over 2,600 square feet. Yes, a large house, and that 2,600 square feet does not include the built-in two-car garage. So that's additional space for your cars or for storage. Um, you've got a really great, like I said, backyard area, and then you've got a covered front porch if you want to sit there and watch the kids walk to school mm -hmm. in the morning. Uh, now this one is 230000 so even for everything you're getting, not a bad price for this one. Not a bad price at all, especially right there in that great location. Right. Now this is Teresa Preston's listing, so uh, let's give some information if somebody wanted to get a hold of Teresa. Okay. You can call her in the Paintsville office, that number is 606-789-8119. All right. Now the next listing is also one of Teresa's, so hold on to that number. Uh, now this one is on Twin Oak Drive. I absolutely love this listing. Yes, this is a really good location and a really fun house. This location is, if you're familiar with downtown Paintsville, um, you're going to turn off 3rd Street onto Court Street, and this is going to be up at the very end of Court Street on Twin Oak Drive. So if you know where Our Lady of the Mountain School, or, mm -hmm. or what a lot of people refer, refer to as the Mayo Mansion, uh, this is right in that area. You would not know that by looking at this picture, but it's up on the hill there. Yes, you've got two acres, and then you have privacy, which is great because you've got that mm -hmm. downtown convenience, and you can also easily have somebody walk to school from that location, but you've also got the two acres in the private location. And then this is one that offers a lot of space. You've got over 3,200 square feet. It's got a finished basement with a fireplace. It has a workshop, a two-car attached garage. So all that, you know, the outdoor space, if you need the workshop, mm -hmm. if you need the storage, if anything that you would need, this is perfect to make what you need it to be. And then look, there's a picture of the, I'm assuming is the back deck, mm -hmm. um, which is going to face that hillside in the tree line. So that's just another way to escape the fact that you are still in downtown Paintsville. Absolutely, and give you that private feeling. This also offers four bedrooms, three bathrooms, so again, a lot of space. If you do have the kids that you want to mm -hmm. give them that private feeling, but still send them out the front door for school in the morning. Right, and this one is a great home for entertaining too. The way it's laid mm -hmm. out with the inside space and the outside space. Uh, so this, this one is going to fit a lot of needs. Um, as far as what it offers, uh, not to mention, you know, you've got the two car attached garage on mm -hmm. top of all the other space. And we're saying, you know, when you say over 3,200 square feet, you know you've got space to pretty much do what you want inside your home. Exactly. And whatever your need is, I really feel like this is something that could work for most buyers out there. Right. Now, um, and the price on this one is, is not a typo. It is $179.9. So this is under $180,000. Two acres in downtown Paintsville. 
If this is in your budget and this is something you're looking for, definitely give Teresa a call uh, or, or email her because that's a lot of way people communicate these days. Let's give Teresa's email. Her email is tpreston at rbnw.com. Okay. Now, the next listing is, is belongs to Jeremy Duncan, but we're still dealing out of the Paintsville office. Mm -hmm. uh, now, this one is off of Depot Road. It's very close to our Paintsville office yes, location. So if you're familiar to where that is, or Route 40 crosses Depot Road, you're only about a quarter of a mile down, so you're going to cross the bridge right there on Depot. This will come up on your left. And if you're not familiar with those road names, a lot of people know where the Dairy Queen is mm -hmm. in Paintsville. It's that side of town. It's the, the road that runs up. Uh, on that side of town that crosses into to Route 40, which will take you out to this other listing we just talked about. Absolutely. Now this is commercial, um, but for the price, and if you're looking, we'll go ahead and throw that out there and start, this is a little bit backwards, but 59.5. So you're looking at acreage, a half an acre of commercial property in a very popular part of town that already has a building on it. Yes, absolutely. And you've got a building, it's a little over 600 square feet. So you've got a one restroom, mm -hmm. you know, a, a very simple office building. But the great thing about this one, it's already been renovated. So you've got a new roof, new siding, updated electrical and plumbing. So whatever business that you have, if you're looking for a smaller space to get started or you have a business that's just you and another person, mm -hmm. this is going to be a great listing to look at. So this is going to be a perfect opportunity uh, for somebody and I'm sure there are people out there looking for this exact thing. Exactly. And that acreage, like you mentioned, the acreage means parking on commercial. Yes. So you have that already fulfilled if you need the parking space, if you would expect to have two, three, four cars mm -hmm. in the parking lot, you know you've got the space for that as well. I hope that one's probably got a lot of wheels turning. Again, the price on that commercial property in downtown Paintsville is 59500 mm -hmm. So under 60000 you're getting a a piece of real estate with a building on it, perfect for commercial in a great location. I just, I don't think you can beat that. Hopefully not. <laughs> now you said this is Jeremy Duncan's listing. Uh, he's out of the Paintsville office, so let's give that number one more time. Okay, that number 606-789-8119. Okay, now let's transition. We said we were going to do multiple counties today. Let's go mm -hmm. over into Floyd County. This one, another house to look at. It looks like it's out in the country, but this is downtown Prestonsburg. Yes, this is actually one of my favorite locations in Prestonsburg because for the longest time I didn't even know this existed. Uh -huh. It's kind of a hidden gem back in there. But you are going to turn off North Lake Drive, which is the main road that goes mm -hmm. through Prestonsburg. You're going to turn and you'll turn left up there as you get close to the courthouse and all that kind of stuff. And it turns into Trimble Branch. So you're about a half mile up Trimble Branch right downtown but you have a location that feels like a kind of a secluded neighborhood. I'm like you, I stumbled on this road within the last year, mm -hmm. uh, killing some time. I was early for an appointment and, and I thought, well, what's back here? And I turned behind and it's behind City Hall mm -hmm. uh, and all that and, and the road just kind of goes up and around the side of the hill and some beautiful, I probably went right by this house, I mean some very beautiful real estate back there. Absolutely. And this is one, this house was built in 1961. It's a three bedroom, two bath. And this is one where we've got a separated below grade square footage and above mm -hmm. grade square footage. Total, you're almost 2,700 square feet. And about 1,700 square feet of that is going to be your above grade. Well, that's a lot of living space. And in that, you've got three bedrooms and two bathrooms. So this is going to accommodate uh, a family or somebody if you expect to to get visitors every once in a while you know a lot of people have families that travel in this is going to be perfect for that exactly and the thing that I like about this one specifically is if you wanted to and it was something that mm -hmm. that you could do the basement area actually fe features a rec room a kitchenette a bedroom and a bathroom what does that scream to me I'm saying rental property there you go so if you want to pay part of your mortgage you have a built-in rental if you would want it. And, and considering where this is in downtown Prestonsburg, I don't think that filling that would be that big of a challenge. No, I, I, I would agree with you. And then, of course, your two-car garage, your, you know, you have all those extra amenities as well. But I really think the possibilities with this one are what's going to end up selling it. And any time you can say, hey, you can pay part of your mortgage payment with, with a home, I mean, people are going to think twice about that. Mm -hmm. But at this price, your mortgage payment isn't going to be that much. I mean, we're only looking at 168500 So under 170000 again, a great location a big home mm -hmm. uh, and, and a very 
a, a setting that seems like you're outside of the city, in the city. So for everything you're getting for under 170000 plus the opportunity to earn some income, I think this is one that people need to, to give Kathy Brown uh, a call on this one. She's the realtor out mm -hmm. of the Paintsville office. Out of the Paintsville office. And I just gave the Paintsville phone number, so I'll give her email. Okay. Her email is cbrown at rbnw.com. All right, now let's end the show with our last listing, pulling back into uh, Pikeville. This is your listing. Mm -hmm. this and is a brand new one. Brand new listing. Um, we just actually got it put on the computer, and this is going to be at Rosalind Street. If you're familiar where the old Millard Elementary is, the Rocky mm -hmm. Road community, this is back in that area. So this is convenient to US 460. If, you're, if you travel between Pikeville and Elkhorn City, uh, this one's probably close to halfway. It's, it would be close, and you're right there again, close to the the new Millard Elementary. Mm -hmm. um, you're very close to Fish Trap and all that that offers with entertainment and that kind of stuff. And so if you're the type that likes outdoors, hunting, fishing, ATV riding, uh, camping, and things like that, this is a great location um, because you're close to 460, you're close to the main road, so your access to Pikeville is right there, but yet you've got Fish Trap Lake. Uh, and everything that that offers. So if you've got a boat or you've got a side-by-side -side or a four-wheeler, all of that, you've got places to do that really close. Yes, very close. And the house itself, it's over 1,600 square feet, four bedroom, two bath house. And this is one, um, when I went into it, it's got some beautiful features. You've got a really nice size living room with a stone fireplace. You have a really nice size kitchen that opens into a dining area. Again, four bedrooms. And then something that they did, the car, the garage looks like a two-car garage. Mm -hmm. It's actually going to be a one-car garage because they built in a mud room from oh, wow. the garage into the house that has shelves for a pantry that's got all kinds of extra storage that you just don't expect to be in there. So as we, and that goes right along with what we talked about being for the outdoorsy type of person. Mm -hmm. You know, if you do go out and do these excursions, you may come in and need to change clothes or drop your <laughs> shoes off uh, in a place before you go in the house. So this was, it has a lot to offer uh, in a great location in Pike County. It does, and then I'm going to let you talk about the price because all that at a really good price. Yes, I mean, you can see on the <laughs> bottom of the screen, and you may have been blinking and looking, yeah, $75,000 for this home uh, and everything it has to offer. Uh, so this one is one that's a brand new listing. So if you have recently browsed the website mm -hmm. um, or taken a look at things they have to offer, this wasn't available. So this may be something that was is in your budget, but you just haven't seen before. Uh, so go ahead and give Jennifer a call. Uh, you're in the Pike Pikeville office, so let's give that number. That number is 606-437-2333. Okay, now I, th I know with all the pricing, it seems like everything was just like this price that you wouldn't imagine today. <laughs> uh, everything was a great price. So if you're in the market for, for some real estate, you're still looking at that New Year's resolution of getting a new home, definitely give one of these realtors a call. Any of their four offices, somebody will be able to take care of you. Absolutely. It'll be, our, be our honor to take care of it. All right, now I'm going to step out and let Jennifer do her real estate. Foreclosure can be a scary word to homeowners, as it should be. But in the current market, it is a word that you'll hear more often. What is a foreclosure property? It is a property that a homeowner has lost due to not paying the mortgage for an extended period of time. And typically, the lender or entity that lent the money has taken over possession. If you're the party losing the home, this can obviously be a bad situation that affects your credit, future buying ability, and the stress of moving and finding a new home. For a buyer, a foreclosure can be a great investment. The most important thing to remember if buying a foreclosure is to do your research. Typically, foreclosure properties have many unknown variables, so taking the steps to investigate the property before closing is very important. Thank you for watching this episode of the Rev. Rana Williams Show. I'll see you again soon.